Well, good evening. Um, I've just started uh, to put on the wood for the cockpit and I've cut the template to sit on it. So I'm just finishing sanding the uh, ram no, the joins before I mark out for the um, cockpit itself. And it's been a little bit stubborn because I use super glue to get it right. Right, now this is tapered. Big bit at the front. Got a little bit of blood on it. I stuck a knife through the end of my finger like you do. Right, I want to mark on here the centre line where the crease is, and I can lower the line up on the top stringer. The theory. Quite a big opening actually. Could have used a lot less wood, I think. Never mind. Lining this up is going to be a little bit trickier. Just going to line it up with the front. No. Let's just mark on the inside there. Um, an equal amount, say about a sixteenth. Give me a little bit of a guide. I'll mark it, take it off, and see how it looks. I think. All right, so look. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I think that. Looks reasonably equal. Right, that's a great big cockpit. Okay, so there's the cockpit shape. I'm just going to run outside and cut that with the Dremel. And while I'm gone, if you'd uh, like to like and subscribe, it would be brilliant. And I'll see you in a minute. Okay, welcome back. I've been out to the Dremel and just going to clean it up a bit now. Uh, what shall I use? I'll use that. Maybe on that. I'm going to have cockpit combing around it anyway so it'll be it'll look pretty good by the time it's done right a little bit of the old super glue oops super glue to just tighten that edge up a bit um, stiffen the edge up, I should say. A bit too much, eh? For the structure, which obviously isn't good. Get the surplus off there. Might be nozzle. Taking the some meat out of the um, wood on the tail. It's lightened it up a little bit. Same with the rudder. I've um, taken out some. It goes that way up. Taken out some extra meat. Still leave enough meat uh, balsa for the horn. So that's good. The top wing weighs about 20 grams, which is pretty heavy. Um, not much else I can do about that, really. It is what it is. Now, the next job on the fuselage. Let's have a look at this. This is going to sit on there. 
yeah that's nice it all looks pretty square just by eye could put in the rudder hinge post uh, hang on a minute let's look at the pan a minute let's look at the pan that's showing I think I might extend the bottom of that a little bit because it's a little bit you can see that a little bit short of the line underneath here so I've got it it's about eighth of an inch yeah maybe three sixteenth I'm going to extend that down a little bit because that doesn't look too clever to my eye do that now while I'm at it I can put a little V shape in for the elevator to um, move up and down Um, right, how can I extend that? Because I've well, let's cut a first job, let's cut it flat because I've sanded it. So let's just cut a yeah, super glue. Okay. Cut it. Uh, cut it straight down there. Just check that before I go cutting. Measure twice, cut once, as they say. Yep, spot on. Okay. Don't like adding weight to the tail end, but this can't be helped. It's got to look right. Let's get some of that writing off. And use a bit of weight into the process. Extended rudder, soft it up. When you're converting a model to electric, there's a lot of offering up and change of plans. And there we go. So that now is pretty level with the bottom of the fuselage. That's gonna got to hinge that right now. The other thing I want to do while I've got it all here is to mark the position center line of the elevator. Oh, need three pairs of hands here. No, three hands, one and a half pairs, right. That's the center line. Now I've got to take out a little shape like I don't know if you can see that. Yep, just take out a little shape like that for the elevator to um, be able to move pretty much free yep so that shape there will allow the elevator in theory 
to move. Up and down. Looks about right. So it is right. Now I've got to think about the hinge for the for the rudder. The rudder is um, going to be hinged with a piece of get rid of some of this rubbish. The rudder is going to be hinged with a piece of um, carbon and a tube. I've got to tidy up. I've got somewhere a piece of tube, carbon tube, and a piece of, found a piece of, it is actually tube, aluminium, but it's a good fit in there. So I thought I'd use this for the rudder hinge post. Which means I've got to cut a bit there to glue on there. How does it work? Hinge post should go top to bottom and the rudder will be glued to that. Is that how it's going to work? Where is that going to go? Let me think about it. Okay then, welcome back. What I've done is, what I've done is, I've glued on a small piece of Um, carbon tube and on the rudder a piece of aluminium tube actually where are we and that just slots down like this into there and it'll just hold itself in there so it just flops nicely under its own weight. Quite good. And so that will go in there. So I'll have this much throw. So it's quite a decent amount. Coupled with the ailerons. Should um, should work quite nicely. Yeah. So there we go. Quite pleased with that. And that be it for tonight, I think. So thanks for looking in again and catch you later.